Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. What a way to live. What a way to die. All that day. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it.
Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I thought I saw something outside the fence. Something or someone? Didn't get a good enough look. The way they move, though. Too fast to be a walker. Could it have been the guy that's been following us? The voice on the radio? I don't know. They didn't say anything. Just stood there, watching. Creepy as hell. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee thinks he might have seen someone out there spying on us. Maybe it's that goddamn bell ringer. Man, remember when walkers were what we were most afraid of? Those are starting to seem like the good old days. Well, the hell with this. I'm not gonna let whoever's out there keep us from getting our boat. We've holed up here long enough. I'm heading down to River Street. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on?
person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Someone already looted the place. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up, for all the good it did. been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Must have been a hell of a wreck.
welcome banner. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. No sign of any boots down there. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Get down! Get down! We hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us? If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay. You head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, don't! How are you people? Kenny, back off. Unless you want this lady to give you another ass with her. How are you calling lady? The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What 
the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. But still, children, you're not saying that. God's name? Why? No one stays in Crawford unless they can pull their own weight. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed, another drain on their precious resources. What does that mean, pull their own weight? It just means being able to help out, like you do all the time. Doesn't sound like any kind of way to live to me. Couldn't agree more. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry we find the child. Just wanna get her back home. We're not going anywhere until I find us a goddamn boat. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a... You just gonna let her go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please don't leave us! Come on! Make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Come on! Come on, man! One good jump! 
Here, use that to pry it open. 